Hi guys, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I hope you had an amazing week so far. I had a pretty damn good week myself and I thought it was time to do another vlog. And today I want to talk about something that I quite enjoy as a fragrance addict. And that is reed diffusers. If you don't know what reed diffusers are, they are basically just a bottle that is filled with scented oil, uh, like an oil water kind of alcohol mixture, um, together with sticks, usually wooden sticks. And then you basically just put those wooden sticks in the bottle and then voila, you can fill up a room with a specific kind of scent. I love using reed diffusers. I love using reed diffusers in different rooms. So for example in my bedroom I usually switch out different uh, scents. But usually for uh, my bedroom I want something that feels um, maybe like fresh laundry or something like that and I bought one, I found one from uh, Zara which was called uh, Light Cotton. This is the, um, this is the scented candle. Uh, I really enjoyed Light Cotton because it basically smelled like freshly washed uh, uh, bed sheets but in a more beautiful way. Um, and then for my living room, I tend to go for something that is a bit more, uh, with a bit more attitude, but I still don't want it to be super heavy because if I invite people over, I don't want to offend anyone. Uh, and people are, most people are sort of a quite picky of uh, what they like and what they don't like and all that stuff. Uh, and then maybe I have something in my, um, bathroom as well and usually for that room I pick something that is a bit more citrusy so it always feels uh, fresh and nice. Uh, currently I have I just opened up the iris one from Zara. Uh, I can highly recommend that especially if you love iris I think it's beautiful so that one is going into my bedroom uh, I also have another one from Zara. I can highly recommend Zara. They are really well priced and really well made. Uh, another one from Zara that I haven't opened up yet is Cuir Nui. Um, and I believe I use this. This is my second uh, bottle of it. Uh, I believe I used my first one last year, by the end of last year. Uh, I and I actually think that I used it this in my bedroom uh, but this is a sort of a, I think if I remember correctly it's sort of a leather one I also have this one which is fig ombre ombre fig ombre um, and this is basically fig uh, done in a really really nice way I really enjoy this uh, but you gotta love fig though uh, and then I also have this one which is called Son de Bias, something like that. Uh, I can't remember how that one smelled. I believe it was a floral mix of whatever, uh, a mix of florals. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have quite a few. I just popped uh, one open. Uh, I highly recommend you, if you want to be able to fill up a room with uh, a scent that you really enjoy um, then I highly recommend you to check out and try Reed Diffusers because I believe they are quite amazing. Um, and remember, just a quick tip, you don't have to stick to one uh, if you have different rooms in your apartment or in your house. Uh, I highly recommend you to try out different ones for different rooms and one recommendation is to for your bedroom pick whatever uh, that you find is relaxing and nice because in the bedroom you are most likely uh, going to uh, ha you know sleep and stuff like that um, but for your living room I my tip is to choose something that is sort of a 
that smells good but is not going to offend anyone because you don't want uh, your friends to come over and feel that you know that it stinks um, and then in your bathroom you can put whatever you want but I highly recommend something fresh uh, either something that uh, smells like you basically recently uh, washed your clothes uh, or uh, something citrusy maybe a bit floral but not too heavy uh, so yeah that was it basically for for this short vlog uh, I wanted to do this because uh, while I know some people who enjoy rediffusers as much as I do I don't feel that they are quite as common in people's homes as their fragrances uh, so that was one thing and I also ended up after um, our two, I'm gonna link to our two uh, by rate of first impressions, uh, but after we did those, I ended up buying some by rate stuff and I really look forward to uh, showing you what I bought and also share why I bought that stuff and give you an in-depth review of those perfumes as well. I pretty much fall fallen in love with Bayredo. Um, so yeah, that was it. I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. Uh, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe guys. I would love to have you around. I'm a fragrance freak. I'm a fragrance nerd and I just want to share my passion with you. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.